My name is Rajiv Chabra. I am an assistant professor of medicine at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City. And I am a first author on this uh, new article published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Hepatic stetosis independently predicts presence of coronary artery calcification in asymptomatic individuals. This research which we did at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City actually looked at whether the fatty liver is not only a uh, pre another factor uh, for the presence of coronary artery disease, but also a causal mediator. That means it also contributes in the uh, development of coronary artery disease in patients with fatty liver disease. My name is John Hillsberg, and I am the Marion Block Professor of Medicine at St. Luke's Hospital of Kansas City and the University of Missouri Kansas City School of Medicine. Some of the risk factors for hepatic steatosis and for coronary artery disease are similar. And what this study has demonstrated is hepatic steatosis is a strong and independent predictor of coronary calcification. This may be because fatty liver induces insulin resistance and promotes atherogenic dyslipidemia. And it also may act as a pro-inflammatory milieu that uh, increases the risk and severity of coronary disease. When they had their coronary CAT scans done, we evaluated whether they also had the presence of hepatic steatosis at the same time. So it was a cross-sectional study. Uh, so we found that the p patients who had high, um, hepatic steatosis were at higher risk of development of uh, coronary artery disease. And the odds ratio was about 2.85, which was certainly much higher than the other traditional risk factors, uh, such as the Fleming risk factors. A secondary finding from this study was that patients that have coronary artery disease have an independent risk for the development of fatty liver disease. The implication of this is unknown to us. Um, it probably is because of shared risk factors, but it was a stronger, coronary disease was a stronger risk factor for fatty liver disease than the typical risk factors for fatty liver disease, including dyslipidemia, age, sex, elevated BMI, and metabolic syndrome. Patients who have uh, hepatic steatosis should be evaluated for the presence of coronary artery disease, especially if we are going to evaluate them for presence of hepatic steatosis, it would be important to rule out also presence of coronary disease because the higher mortality is from the coronary artery disease rather than from the liver disease itself. In our study, it was actually a stronger predictor of coronary disease than any of the traditional cardiac risk factors, including the Framingham risk factors, diabetes or metabolic syndrome. Next step in the line of research would be to look at those patients uh, who have uh, known hepatic cytosis or coronary disease, whether they get treated with um, certain medications such as higher doses of vitamin E uh, if they get, if their hepatic cytosis gets better, but at the same time would their coronary artery disease gets better as well because of the decrease in the inflammatory milieu. One of our areas of interest is the gut microbiome that has been shown to be involved with obesity, and there's some research to suggest that it may actually be involved with the development of fatty liver disease and also coronary disease. The takeaway message from this article would be that the patients uh, with hepatic cytosis not only share the risk factors for development of coronary artery disease, but they actually have higher risk factors of developing coronary artery disease than the traditional risk factors. When we're evaluating these patients, particularly patients with advanced liver disease, and those that may need liver transplant, they need to definitely be further evaluated for the presence of coronary artery disease. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www dot mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.